This is the title they're fighting for that was once held by Charlie Magri. And a lot of very famous people before him going all the way back to the days of the great Jimmy Wilde. And then we're talking about uh, oh, 1914, round about that time. Scotland, of course, have a great tradition of flyweight champions with men like uh, Benny Lynch and Jackie Patterson and more recently Walter McGowan and John McCluskey. looking again to sink those body punches in which were so telling in the opening round beginning to find the target again His great problem is going to be to stay down to eight stone. He's very tall for a flyweight. He's made seven, thirteen, and three quarters, just a quarter of a pound inside the limit tonight. But uh, I suspect it won't be too long before he has to move up a weight. Oh, it's a good right hand today. Round three. And Flynn's badly hurt. Forty-five seconds to go of this round. Can Flynn survive it? Clinton McKenzie, his brother, sitting right behind me now, getting very excited about the brother, and this might be it. We may have a new champion at this point. I don't think he's going to beat the count. Oh, he has. He's got up quickly. And John Cole looks at him, and McKenzie was proclaiming the victory, and too early. He was dancing around the ring as though he'd won, and he hasn't yet. Flynn made an amazing recovery then. He looked flat out and then suddenly scrambled to his feet and we're still at it. Oh, it's another right. And the count will continue. The count continues after the bell, but he's beaten the count. So he goes back to the corner. Oh, that was touch and go. Mackenzie was almost the British flyweight champion and then suddenly had to go on fighting and he's still going to have to go on fighting because Flynn looks as though he'll be all right to come out for the next round. Here's the first knockdown again. Suddenly McKenzie had got right back to the form of the opening round. This was a right hand that came over the top. There it is. Beautiful little right cross. And the second one, the second knockdown looked like the finisher. There it was again, exactly the same punch, and he was flat on his back, and you'd have bet everything you've got he wouldn't beat the count, but he managed to scramble up and beat it. And then right on the bell, he was down again. Second out, round four. So we go into the fourth round of what suddenly proved to be a very intriguing British flyweight title fight. Danny Flynn of Edinburgh, Duke McKenzie, the black boxer from Croydon. 40 had it won. But I think if Mackenzie finds him with that right again, that might be the end this time. I can't believe Flynn will survive it if he takes it again. Flynn 
in very bravely, trying to come through with something, a jab or a hook or something. He's trying to get him through, but he's always exposed when he does it. And Mackenzie doesn't find it too difficult to nail him. And all the time, Mackenzie is thumping him to the body inside. This is an amazing second win for Flynn. Mackenzie was actually doing a war dance of victory at one point. Well, you've got to hand it to Flynn for bravery. Took a lot of guts to get up. position now has he got the strength to come up again he's done it again he's up yet again but John Cole says no that's enough and he leads a brave man to his corner and he is a brave man he tried and tried and tried and he got up every time but Duke McKenzie has brought off the family double Clinton his brother sitting at the ringside here tonight the former British and European light welterweight champion Clinton has seen brother Duke 22 year old Duke McKenzie take the vacant British five-way title and there is Clinton and a jubilant brother indeed and every reason to be so we can look again now at the punch that made him champion fine win for Duke McKenzie we've got a good new flyway champion that's his 11th pro fight there have been 11 wins and the other title fight from that arm